So what was the first question? What is happiness? What is happiness? Okay, so the answer to what is happiness is happiness is when you can accept the most tragic news that you ever heard as a blessing. So happiness is that. It's where you truly sit here understanding that this life is shitty at times. And that you didn't come here to sit in bliss all the time. You came here actually to learn how to sit in piss. <laughs> Because it sort of steeps you, you know? It's like a, a good marinade of self-enlightenment based on the truth that happiness is when you can accept that life can be shitty sometimes. So that was the first. What was the second? How do you know when you have it? How do you know when you have it? <laughs> when the marinade is fully developed through your system, you begin to feel and smell like it. <laughs> Did you never hear that before? You can smell the success of that person. Did you ever hear that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, why, why do you think that is? Do you think they're talking about. I'm not allowed brand name. But you know, you think it's their aftershave or their perfume that, that is the cause of their success. No, actually, it's a smell. It's a vibration that they give out. Like a rose. You know, a rose, the scent of a rose is a rose in prayer. You take a rose, it's on a bush, you smell it. And you just go into bliss with it, right? And it's wonderful. Not the roses they seem to be selling now that have no smell at all. Because they've had to be dragged up too fast so they haven't quite developed. So if we had a little bit more patience with our roses, they would give that scent just at that moment in time and they'd have the smell of success. But the interesting thing about the rose is, if we could be as stupid as a rose, we would have attained happiness. Because you can cut a rose away from the bush, effectively killing it, and it will just radiate beauty and aroma. Her does, and we, what do we radiate? <laughs> Anger, horror, horror <laughs> frustration, whatever. So actually, something as beautiful as this teacher here, these flowers, is, is what we need to begin to do now. If you want happiness, you need to look at these guys. They're not, look, that flower is not trying to be a microwave oven. Do you understand? Yeah, look, it's not trying to be a human being. It's just beauty, just as it is. Why so us poor Egypts? We're supposed to be the intelligent ones. We're trying to be everything we're not. We want to be successful. Well, make sure you have the best clothes, the best hairdo, the biggest wallet, the biggest bank account. Well, it's not good having a bank account now because, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't it really interesting that the only people that are not worrying at this time are people on social welfare. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. It's, look at what's happened. People who are sitting in their big houses with their big cars and their private jets are all now, look at them. Their, their, pla their Botox is beginning to appear. And it's sad with worry that the bank is going to go bang that the government only guaranteed... Could you imagine? Oh my God, think of this as a nightmare. Could you imagine having 50 million euros, pounds or dollars in a bank that goes wild? And the government has only guaranteed 100,000. No wonder they're all starting to turn to the whiskey and the bottle and the whole thing. Why, all those people here, we don't have to worry about that. 
It's great. We can just look at them now and smile a lot. And go, <laughs> we told you this day you would go. <laughs> because we are now, this happiness that is here for our collection is only here because of what's happening in the world. This, this is the time for people to understand that all this material, like this building, a good JCB or wrecking ball and this building is gone. There's nothing permanent here. These flowers are not permanent, this is not permanent. Nothing, nothing is permanent. So why worry about it? It's going to go. <laughs> you know, these flowers, look at them, they're so beautiful. Well, I want you all to come back here in two weeks time and we're not going to change them and I want you to tell me how beautiful they are then. <laughs> And then we leave them every year, and I'd like you to tell me how beautiful they are then. And then I'd like you to smell the water. <laughs> and tell me how beautiful they are then. <laughs> you know, and then I'll ask you to drink the water. I see where you're going with that. But the fact of the matter is this. That's where you're going to end up as well. You too are a beautiful flower now. You too are going to die. You too are going to have chandlers crawling down your nose. And you're going to be eating them. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, if you rip us all open, we're the ugly, we're full of bile and geek and piss and puss. And that's what we're made of. <laughs> so don't worry about that. Don't worry about it, because all that worrying is just going to your boat and going to slide. <laughs> <laughs> it's time now to stop the worrying. They, 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 does nothing can be taken from you that is of any value. Nothing. But if you worry about it being taken, you're going to be sick to the teeth when you take it. So what was the question? Second question? When do you know you have it? When you stop worrying about nothing. What was the next part? How do you know it's real? That's the really interesting. How do you know it's real? You don't. And you don't because it is ever changing. And so if you think you found it, you're wrong. 